Okay, so, Black Panda, Wakanda forever. <sighs> Directed by Ryan Coogler again. So, the people of Wakanda are in turmoil after the death of King T'Challa and are now looking to move forward. Oh my god, this movie was insane. I mean, they'd lost Chadwick Boseman and uh, there were so many turmoils as to where they could go with this. I mean, I'm glad they didn't recast him after Chad died. If this movie is a testament to anything, it's that you do not back down from a challenge. I... Oh god, this was insane. There's so much emphasis on loss and value of loved ones. I, uh... I don't know. It's so much. I mean, everyone showed up to play here. And it shows, especially with the love of Chadwick. Uh, I love the all the technical stuff around it. The visuals are better, and the CGI is definitely better than the first one. I knew I could trust. Knew I we could trust. Uh, uh, Ryan Coogler, and I don't want to get into any spoilers, but Namor as a villain was cool. This is definitely, he's one of my favourite comic book villains, and with, with Tenok Herta as the Submariner, he was Badass, threatening, douchebaggy, and at least you understand where he's coming from. And I had no idea the word Namor was derived from without love. <clears throat> so yeah, this was a great film. I'd definitely check it out if you had the chance. I'll see you soon.